I think you're getting onto something that's really important here, and that is this question of accountability. When we fail to hold people to account for what we all know to be wrongdoing, that creates impunity. That tells the next leader to come along that they have a lot more space than they should in which to do the wrong thing. And so we never held Nixon to account. We let him get on the plane and fly off to San Clemente. We never held Reagan to account for Iran-Contra. We never held Bush and Cheney to account for an illegal and immoral war in Iraq, and frankly, for a host of other uh, impeachable offenses. And while Trump was twice impeached, in each case, uh, Republicans in the Senate prevented him from being held to account. And so I think this all piles up. I think at a certain point, um, we really get to this core question. Do we have accountability in the United States? Are we a country where if you do the wrong thing, if you assault the Constitution of the United States, if you sin against democracy, are you going to be held to account or are you going to be let off the hook? If the answer is you're going to be let off the hook, then the message to the next Donald Trump, to the next politician coming down the line, is that they can do something worse, that they can go to a more extreme place. And so yep. this is really a point where we ought to pull the brakes and focus on accountability. A failure to do so will haunt us in the future.